my name is Khan and welcome to the new video in this video we are going to learn about what is a major structure and minor structure and how we can trade them after break of structure and after chalk when market momentum is a bullish and bearish and market create a break of structure and people generally we are looking here for the buy and sell after or taking out the inducement but what happened if you are willing to buy and sell before the inducement and how we can deal in the situation so in this video i will teach you everything in a detail so so first of all you have to understand which time frame you are following first of all if you are using one hour time frame then you have to use five minute time frame as a lower time frame confirmation and if you are using four hour then you have to use 15 minute as a lower time frame confirmation and if you are using 15 minute as a higher time frame then you have to use one or two minute as a lower time frame and this video is a completely different from the past video which i uploaded on my youtube channel so you have to watch properly very carefully first of all let me show you three rank then you can understand more better and more easily okay so this is our various structure as you know market momentum is a various and creating lower lows after break of structure so in this situation how we can deal in both a situation if market momentum is a various and you know we are looking for the sell after taking out the inducement and mitigation something your decisional py or extreme py is here okay price tap here and create a lower time frame structure in a chalk and flip and maybe sweep here also include single candle order block and then we are looking here for the sell so this is our entry and if we are expecting something like this but what happened after break of structure if you wanna trade something like this this move for the buy to the upside so how you can deal this situation and what criteria you should follow after break of structure for the buy to the upside in a bearish market so in this video i will explain these things in a detail first thing you have to mark the structure if market momentum is a bearish or bullish and then you have to wait for a valid break of structure something like this after break of structure if you are using one hour as a high time frame or four hour as a high time frame or maybe a 15 minute as a higher time frame then you have to use lower time frame as per the higher time frame at least 10x lower the higher time frame so if you are using one hour then you have to use a five minute as a lower time frame and four hour used to 15 minute as a lower time frame okay for example this is our one hour time frame and market momentum is a various and we are looking for the buy after break of structure we know market must be taken out the inducement before the sell so we can trade this one this move can we catch this move for the are uh, taking out this inducement okay so in this situation you have to check our uh, two three things first of all you have to mark the structure and then you have to mark the inducement as well as so this is our inducement and where is our py because inducement is our first target and inducement after inducement our uh, decisional py is here for example and this is our final target because this is a counter trend and we don't know exactly that market can go continue higher or maybe which point maybe a point on extreme okay because it's all about probability first of all you have to check here if there is anything here in a lower time frame first break off structure and you have to switch here in a lower time frame after lower time frame market break the first high this one is a called fake chalk market continue pushing downside and then what happened finally again market try to break the first high and this one this is our chalk and at this point you have to uh prepare for the buy why the first high is a broken in a lower time frame that's called fake chalk and the next time price again break the high and you have to prepare here for the buy because market break the chalk and then you have to wait for it inducement and then you can buy till a uh, first higher time frame inducement as well as here so this is our buying process in a lower time frame and this is a lower time frame structure first high is a broken that's called a fake chalk here and the next time market break this one is a called chalk and inducement and market mitigate something here and then continue go higher again break the structure taking out inducement and mitigate your decisional extreme py and buy here and where is target target your at least this inducement and this is our actual high means uh, measure target is here okay so this is a process for the buy in a counter trade and when price step here on your py and then you have to follow the same principle like uh, after mitigation press here okay you have to identify there is a, any refinement a py for example this is our one hour higher time frame py then you will switch in a five minute time frame then you will see so many unmitigated order block then you have to mark every order block if price step on your first order block this one is a decisional and this is a extreme right here 
and wait for a reaction press type here and create any chalk and flip entry module then you can trade here simply wait for chalk taken out inducement and sell okay so this is a process when we can sell if market tap on your higher time frame py okay let me show you on chart then you can understand more better and more easily this is our four hour time frame now switch in a one hour time frame to see exactly what happening and you can use 15 minute as well as and four hour as well as okay but i'm showing you in a one hour time frame okay because some people are not able to handle situation in a 15 minute time frame and one minute time frame which is very fast so i will suggest you start from the one hour and five minute time frame which is very useful for everyone and uh, you will get a very good setup as also in a 15 minute sorry in a one hour and five minute time frame okay so this is our one hour time frame and market momentum was completely bullish so at this point what happening here first of all you have to mark the structure so what is the structure right now if you can see the previous structure was here okay i'm just marking the previous structure as well as to understand to teach you everything like this one of the previous higher high was created here why because market taken out the inducement here and after taking out the inducement generally what are you looking we are looking for the buy and same thing happened here after taking out the inducement market looking for the buy and again market break the high that's called a break of structure because market continue looking to the upside everything is a bullish here okay and uh, this point become our higher low why because market momentum is a bullish and this is the lowest point is here after break of structure so this point become our higher low and again what happened here this is our another higher high is here why this is a higher high because after break of structure market taken out the inducement which point market taken out the inducement here this is a very uh, minor inducement you can see this is a very small pullback here so we can consider this is a inducement and after taking out the inducement probably we are looking for the buy which point here okay so this is a buy because this is a decisional but market take the actual structure which is was here and market convert into bears so this point is our chalk okay after chalk what are you looking here generally we are looking here for taking out the inducement then we are looking for the a uh, sell because market momentum is a better so in this situation after chalk you have to switch here in a lower time frame if you want to trade this move okay if you want to trade this move if you want to trade this move and this move as well as why first of all look at this one here if you want to trade here then where is the inducement first of all look at this point this point is our inducement here it means if you are looking here for the buy then this is our target okay and after taking out the inducement we are looking for the sell at this point okay because this is our after break of structure and remember one thing after break of structure you have to check here okay in a lower time frame and this is a not matter this price type on any left side is a py or not doesn't matter main thing after break of structure candle closer or sweep in a both scenario is a valid okay you have to switch in a lower time frame then you will wait for a uh, first fake off chalk and then wait for next uh, valid chalk and wait for inducement in a lower time frame and buy till this inducement as a target okay okay now let me show you through or uh, now let me show you through bar play then you can understand more better so this is our chalk and after chalk you have to switch here in a lower time frame in a five minute time frame okay and in a lower time frame wait for fake chalk first high is a uh, broken this one is called fake chalk in a five minute structure okay so chalk confirm here so where is our structure here in this case you mean this one something like this okay first high is a broken that's called fake chalk and then wait for another this low is a broken and this high is a broken that's called a valid chalk and inducement and buy here okay so this is a process for the buy in a bearish market for uh counter trend will are taken out the inducement okay so in this case where is upper pullback look at this one this is the first pullback is here broken and trying to create a new pullback for example broke this one and this one is a broken that's called a fake chalk but at the point where is the chalk this one and what is this this one is a called fake chalk and very high chances market can go continue lower and again lower and wait for another uh, break of structure or chalk in a lower time frame and then we can buy for till a uh, inducement as a target this one okay so let's see what happening here and then if we can uh, 
understand okay market is still not create any lower lows is here and you have to wait for it till or taken out this high okay and one more thing you have to remember market must be close of it so this uh mean if market close of it then a week can buy okay you mean uh at this point okay in a next attempt like here market must be candle closer to confirm a valid structure so at this point you can see market not break this high and market a break this low is here it means first high is a broken that's all a fake job here this low is a broken here and now look at this structure as well as here first high is a broken at this point okay because this low is a broken here so this is an inside move and the first pullback was created here something like this okay okay and this one is a broken so this point become our fake job market or taken out this low it means very highly chances of a higher time frame inducement will be also transfer higher to lower okay let me check here exactly at this point you can see this is our another inducement create here okay why because this is a pullback something like this so after taking out the inducement probably we are looking for the sell but how we can deal in this situation if you are interested here for the buy here so you have to wait for first fake chalk and then wait for real chalk and then we can buy till this inducement and where is our measure target is here this point okay so this point is our measure target because this is a decisional POV after taking out the inducement so we are looking here for the buy okay let's switch here in a five minute time frame again this is our inducement right now okay and uh, wait for real chalk here and then we can confirm where is market going on here okay market continue or pushing upside market not break the high let me mark this one this is our chalk if market broke this high and create a valid uptick of structure then we can consider uh, for the buy but at this point you can see just sweep the liquidity so you don't need to buy here you have to wait for candle closer proper candle closer for the buy because sometime market just break the previous structure high and grab the liquidity and market continue go lower in a downside so you have to wait for it a proper candle closer to the upside so at this point finally market break this high and confirm a valid break of structure here so generally what are you looking here we are looking here for the buy till after taking out the inducement at this point okay so first pullback is generally is our inducement is here okay because we are looking here for the buy and which point we can buy after taking out the inducement and wait for mitigation your order block is here okay so this is a decisional py is here and where is our x team x team is here you can see in this lag everything is mitigated here there is no unmitigated order block only x team only one is here right but technically this is our actual order block which is here okay so simply if we can buy here if price came back or downside to mitigate this zone and then we can buy otherwise this is our decisional py when we are looking for the buy so let's see what happened next here okay market not taken out this one and still where is our inducement and this one okay and this one is our inducement and just blow it this one is the order block mitigate and only this one is our unmitigated order block is here so if price type here and create any uh, single candle order block for additional confirmation also because we are already in a five minute time frame so one minute we don't uh, need to switch in a one minute time frame like chalk and flag for the confirmation so at this point you can use a single candle order block for additional confirmation okay okay now let's see what happened next here okay still okay price type here what you uh, what do you do in this case first of all press tap here and at this point you can take additional confirmation as a single candle order block as you know if press close above it on this bullish order block and next third candle mitigate those order block then we can use for the uh, entry why because market not tap on your extreme py press on your decisional py so press can be uh, one more time came back to the downside to mitigate your extreme py and create here any single candle order block and then we can buy to the upside okay so this is a just additional confirmation for the buy here and also we are already in a lower time i mean in a bearish market in a higher time frame as well as and this is a counter trend for the buy so you have to check a proper valid setup before the buy okay if there is no additional confirmation then you don't need to buy or sell in a lower time frame for the counter trend okay so 
let's see what happened next here after this one okay another bearish candle is here okay this is a very strong bullish candle above it look at this one yeah okay so what is this this is our single candle order block here if market came back to the up or downside to mitigate this order block we can take risk here for the buy okay and where is our stop loss stop loss just blow it for the safer side here and this is an entry here because price can be a little bit uh, more downside and then continue go higher so you have to prepare and you have to put the stop loss just blow it okay and where is our target target our higher time frame inducement and py is here okay so this one is our target here for the uh, buy okay now let's see what happened next after this one and what up we can expect here in this situation and this is our decisional price mitigate here okay perfect okay price continue going higher high all right everything is bullish here continue market going higher high and finally market hit our target point so this is our process to take out the uh, counter trend for the buy okay and uh, if price came back on your extreme py and mitigate uh, same uh, scenario then we can also buy here because sometime price not react from the your decisional py and market came back on your extreme py then you can apply same principle here okay now price came back on your higher time frame py let's switch here in a one hour time frame to see exactly what happening here look at this one after taking out the inducement price type on your dip, uh, like this price type on your decisional py and where is our extreme extreme is here okay so this one is our extreme py and this one is our decisional price type here and create any five minute chalk or flip anti module then definitely you can trade here okay now i'm going to switch here in a five minute time frame look at this one you have to refine here unmitigated order block at this point okay so how many possible order block here in this case only one order block is here where is our only one order block if you are thinking this is the order block here and this is the order block no this one is a not order block here at this point why because this not create between this higher time frame order block okay this is the outer side so you don't need to use this order block in this case you have to mark your unmitigated order block in this case you can see this is an order block yes no this is a not a valid order block why because market not created a valid upper back here look at this one this is an interesting thing okay look at this a uh, black candle low is here and high is here everything created between this candle high or low so this is not a valid pullback so we don't consider this is a valid order block and one more thing this one is a called smt smart money trap okay people are looking here for this sale because this is a order block okay but in reality this is a not order block this is just liquidity i mean inside move where is our actual order block actual order block is here okay this one because this side of grab the liquidity and this is a extreme also so this one is our very high probability zone for the entry okay if you wanna uh, extend so you can something like this and actual is here okay so this is entire zone for the uh, sell here okay for the refinement purpose you can use this one okay i'm using entire one okay and this is our refinement okay so once price mitigate those zone then you have to wait for it and uh, wait for lower time frame structure then we can trade okay so this one is a refinement and this one is our smt price type here and lot of smart money traders activate here for the sellers because this is a lower time frame order block is here okay so let's see price type here and create reaction here people are looking here for sell continue market up broken or downside move here and you have to wait for it so price reacting from your smt point and again people are looking here for sell and this is a smt because everything uh when there is a no liquidity grab here and the market not create a valid uh pullback so those act like a in smt okay so basically where is our actual order block is here okay once price mitigate here and create any lower time frame a reaction here then we can trade here okay so let's see let's wait for it to mitigate your extreme py is here okay 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 price finally market are trying to mitigate your extreme py is here at this point okay so finally market mitigate your extreme py is here okay so this one is our refinement so also price type on your refinement and sometime you will see market sweep the previous high just uh like like this okay so in this case if you are thinking this is a become a valid or unvalid so this is absolutely valid because market grab the additional liquidity and we are not 
are selling here directly okay so if you are directly selling putting the stop loss so market grab the additional liquidity is here so always you have to prepare for the additional confirmation for the sell that's why okay i use mostly single candle order block for the additional confirmation and also a chalk flip entry module okay press tap on here and wait for lower time frame chalk press tap here and first pullback is a broken that's called chalk okay because this one is our lower time frame structure is here this one is a chalk and after chalk where is our inducement because after taking out the inducement we are looking for the sell this area is our inducement here and after taking out the inducement we are looking here for the sell so where is our PUI? PUI means extreme order block is here only one order block is here in this case so this is a zone when we are looking for the sell okay now let's see what happened next here after this one okay market or uh, break this low and create a new inducement at this point is here okay this point become our chalk sorry chalk is here and market create a new inducement at this point and we are looking for the sell so which point we can sell after taking out the inducement generally we are looking for the sell so let's see what happened next here and one more thing i want to mention here if you are thinking why not this is inducement so absolutely you can use this one is an inducement but where is our order block in this case look at this one this order block is already mitigated here so there is a no unmitigated order block or imbalance is here everything is mitigated here so there is no sense to mark this as an inducement so we can use mark this one as an inducement and where is our next unmitigated order block is here this one this one decisional order block and this one is extreme so if press tap on your decisional order block is here and create any single candle order block we can take entry here for the sell for additional confirmation okay so let's see okay okay press tap on your extreme i mean press tap on your decisional py is here and wait for lower time frame like single candle order block for the additional confirmation and then we can trade here look at this one press create here single candle order block look at this one because the previous candle high is a broken is here okay and also market uh, grab the liquidity and create single candle order block at this point third candle mitigate here so simply you can uh, sell at this point where is stop loss stop loss just over it why why not just over it because sometime market grab this high and then market went down so this is just additional confirmation and this is our actual py high so we can mark this high as a stop loss and where is our target target the main 15 minute low as a target at this point right so this is a target here okay and uh, this is our entry based on single candle order block and now let's see what happened next here okay you can see market again go higher so in that situation uh, if you have put the stop loss just above it so this stop loss can be hit that's why for the safer side i use my stop loss above the order block in a both scenario for the buy and sell finally market hit our target point okay again we can see market create higher high something like this okay and break this one this is called chalk still because the liquidity grab here after liquidity grab here simply you can sell here on this order block here this is a direct entry because liquidity already grab so we can directly sell here this is additional confirmation sometime you miss the first setup here so you can catch this one right here and this is stop loss above it okay so this is another entry based on it and if you wanna again take entry so as you know we need inducement structure is a various here something like this taken out the inducement unmitigated order block extreme here but you have to follow here a trend line liquidity meaning here at this point market grab this liquidity this is a trend line broken chalk and after chalk what are your liquidation sell inducement single candle order block sell so main thing is here after taking out the liquidity after taking out the inducement press tap on your order block and create a single candle order block and then we can take our trade here okay so this is a process for the entry in a counter trend and major trade so in this example i cover both a uh, side of example in a buy side and sell side as well as so this is a process to sell and buy in both side okay using higher time frame structure to lower time frame and same principle applicable in a bullish market if market break the high and create a, like this structure then you can sell okay sometime 
and one more thing you wanna mention i wanna mention here this buy side probability is a very low probability you can say 50 50 percent of probability because major structure is a bearish and you are buying against the major trend okay so this is a low probability but this is a high probability why you are selling as per higher time frame scenario okay same thing applicable in a bullish market if market create a structure in a bullish market and taken out the inducement uh, for example here taken out the inducement this is a previous higher high higher low okay break this high and after break the high you can sell here for the short term if market create here any five minute of fake chalk and another chalk here okay if not then you have to wait for it and maybe possible create here fake chalk or anything so you can sell in this situation as well as here okay so always you have to buy and sell after taking out the liquidity after taking out the inducement so i hope this video help you a lot to understand that how major structure and minor structure work and how we can trade in a both scenario if you are new subscribe our youtube channel and join our free telegram channel link in description and i will see you in the next chapter and happy trading